I have never before shot a compensated 9mm 1911. I'm really looking forward to feeling how it feels to shoot this one. And if you're going to do something for the first time, why not do it with just about the best there is? And that is this Wilson Combat X-Tac Compensated Carry. That's a mouthful. It's a handful. It's also a budget full. <laughs> So ever since I first laid my grubby little hands on this gun, I've been anticipating range day. And here I am. Very first rounds that I've put through this. It has had a couple of magazines already through it by the dealer. And I want to thank my good friends at Firing Distance in Bridgeville, Delaware, for the loan of this gun. They are a Wilson Combat stocking dealer. So if you're anywhere in the area, or if you're even in the state of Delaware and you want to make a drive, Go see them. They will hook you up with a Wilson Combat. Shooting six hour elite performance, 147 grain ball to break this baby in. 10 yards from my target. Let's see what I can do with it. Wow, that is nice. It's gonna take me a minute to get used to it. I see I'm drifting down to my usual eight o'clock position or seven o'clock. All right, let me see if I can settle in here a little bit, put them where they should be. Okay, I will let you just feast your eyes on this beautiful handgun while I give you the basic specs. It is, of course, a 1911 in 9mm. Overall length of the gun is 8.1 inches from the tip of the compensator to the back of the beaver tail. Height is 5.1 inches and it's 1.3 inches wide. If you'd like to know sight radius, Wilson tells us it's a 5.7 inch sight radius. The gun weighs 38 ounces with an empty magazine in it. The barrel is a 4 inch stainless steel match grade barrel, compensated and hand fit into each gun. Has a fluted chamber. Frame and slide are carbon steel on this pistol. Has black G10 grips on it that are awesome with of course the Wilson Combat medallions. The sights are a rear Wilson Combat battle sight. The front is a fiber optic. Oh, and uh, just one other number. <laughs> the price for the gun, the way you see it right here with the light rail, $4,060 MSRP. Okay, it looks like a dead center hold is what it likes. So you hold that green dot right where you want it. And the rest is up to you. Wow, that was nice. So what makes this gun cost literally over four times as much as other guns you can get? Same size, same chambering with all the same controls and functions. Well, a lot of it has to do with the name. And that name does mean something. When you build a good brand name, that name carries value. And so when you have a Wilson Combat roll mark on your pistol, you can command a certain price just for that. But let's talk about why that is. One of, the, one of the reasons is Wilson guarantees you an inch and a half group accuracy at 25 yards with this pistol. But more than that, it's really about the quality of the components, the quality of the materials, 
and the craftsmanship that goes into making each and every one of these guns. When you pick this gun up and hold it, you know you're holding something that great care was taken to build and that you can expect it to perform flawlessly and look beautiful for years and years. Let's look at some of the details that make this such an expensive pistol. One of the things I like the best is this X-Tac front strap and mainspring housing treatment that they've done. So the checkering, if you want to call it that, is really a sort of a horizontal diamond pattern. And it is not just gorgeous, but it actually is very functional. It gives you an amazing grip on the pistol. Set off by these nice G10 grips with a fairly muted and modest pattern to them. They don't really scream for attention, but they're quite nice. And then, of course, we've got the nice Wilson Combat logo inlaid therein. Below that, a very nice magazine well, extended, beautifully fit. You can barely feel that seam. Beautifully fit to the pistol, and that funnel really guides the magazines right in. Countersunk, slide stop, slide release lever. Very nice, very low profile. Ambidextrous safety on this particular pistol. That adds a little bit of value. Of course, we have these really nice sights that I talked about. I love that U-notch blacked out sight. That Wilson Combat Battle Sight. I'm a fan of that. And I like the fiber optic front. This pistol does have a slightly rounded butt. So... That's got a nice feel to it when you hold it. The trigger is, of course, very, very crisp and light, like we would expect. I'll take a measurement of that for you before we're done here. I love the serrations on the slide. X-Tac pattern, and they provide a really nice grip. Of course, we have the logo roll marked into the pistol and the Wilson Combat logo as well. You can see the fluted chamber for this 9mm pistol. One of the things that's not quite as obvious when you first look at the gun, but when you're just appreciating the details, you'll notice this beautifully chamfered bottom edge of the slide all the way down both sides. Provides a really nice, really nice fit and just a nice aesthetic to the pistol. top of the pistol is serrated for anti-glare. It's serrated at a 30 lines per inch pattern. It does a great job of keeping the glare off your sights and it also adds a nice aesthetic to the pistol. On the rear of the slide we also have complete serrations, horizontal grooves, at the rate of 40 lines per inch. This pistol does have an internal extractor but you can see that the rear of the extractor has also been grooved to match and blend in with the rear of the slide nice touch very nice light skeletonized hammer I don't know the weight of the spring but it feels very nice easy to uh, very easy to cock the hammer with your thumb And, of course, the ambidextrous safeties. Same width on both sides. There's a good look. This gun does have the light rail, so it is a tactical type of model. And that does bring the price up. So that makes it the $4,060 version versus the $3,960 without that. So if you had it without that light rail in the front, it basically takes 100 bucks off the price of the gun. And then, of course, we've got to talk about this compensator out front. The compensator is part of the barrel. I do not believe it is a removable item. It is part of the barrel itself. And you can see that it is a bit of a fluted barrel when you get out to the muzzle end of it. 
that adds a little weight and balance as well in addition to directing the gases upward which should direct the muzzle downward. I haven't shot this gun yet at this point but I'm anxious to feel how that feels and imagine with 9mm this thing ought to stay pretty flat. It's a full length guide rod but you can see that is a pointed guide rod and all in all it is just a fantastically beautiful gun. Very beautiful aesthetically, very pleasing to look at. I love the two-tone color, the silver and the black. What a great job they did selecting and blending these colors together. And again, just the, the beautiful look and feel. Everything looks top-notch, top quality. Everything feels like top-notch and top quality, as it should for a $4,000 handgun. I want to go again. The Wilson Combat 9mm magazines are nine rounds. I love the Wilson Combat sight picture. I love their battle sight on the rear. And that green filament is really glowing. Contrasts nicely against my orange dot on the target. Okay, fourth consecutive magazine of nine. Boy, this thing feels so sweet. That checkering on the front strap is awesome. Just... Of course, it's matching on the mainstring cover. Keeps the gun right where I want it. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Okay, well, it looks like I have uh, looks like I have found my groove. So let me load these magazines back up. See if we can't do more groovy stuff with this awesome pistol. Okay, Wilson Combat tells us that this trigger is going to be between three and a half and four and a half pounds. Uh, that's certainly what it feels like to me. It feels like a four pound trigger, maybe even a sub four pound trigger. But let's see what the gauge tells us using the Lyman Digital. Three pounds, 10 ounces. Three pounds, eight and a half ounces. And three pounds, nine ounces. So very, very consistent and right under four pounds. 
average is three point or three pounds nine point four ounces. Average of three pulls. Beautiful trigger, and just to demonstrate, nice little bit of take up. See it right there, which is good. You wanna you wanna be able to sort of stage that trigger a little bit, and then beautiful crisp break. Of course, we know it's light. We just saw the numbers. The reset. Short. Just enough tactile feedback. And then you're right back at that wall. Beautiful. Beautiful trigger. Twenty-five yards, six hour, elite performance, V crown, 124 grain. Jacketed hollow point. A little bit of an awkward rest position here, but we'll make it work. And every bit as pretty on the inside as it is on the outside. Field stripped, you get to see the quality of the components. It is a bushingless system, of course, because of the compensator attached to the end of the barrel. You can see there is a coned barrel. And so we have a guide sleeve for the guide rod, which is full length. And a flat spring recoil spring. Magazines, of course, are nine rounders for nine millimeter and they are Wilson Combat magazines. It's just nice to take the gun down before I shoot it. Number one because I want to make sure that I lubricate it good and that it's nice and clean before I take it out and shoot it. So we're going to take that opportunity but I also like to just admire and inspect the quality of this very well-made handgun from Wilson Combat. It is, as you can see, it is a Series 70. There is no firing pin block safety. Ambidextra safety, always a good thing. Okay, let's talk about the bottom line, or my final thoughts, I guess, on this Wilson Combat X-Tac Elite Carry Comp. Again, it's kind of a mouthful, but boy, that's a sweet pistol. Before I do that, I do want to thank one more time my good friends at Firing Distance in Bridgeville, Delaware, for making this pistol available to me so I could share it with you and have my fun. And thanks to Six Hour Ammo for providing some of the ammo used in this video. So, this is a $4,000 handgun. It is a 4 inch barrel, 9 millimeter, 1911, single stack. Is it worth four grand? Well, 
you know, I've kind of said the same thing before, and I'm sure I'll have opportunities to say it again, but value is in the, in the eye of the beholder. People who demand high quality and really want the best are willing to pay for it. And you're either going to, you either already have the means to do that, or you're going to save up or do whatever you need to do in some cases. You know, you don't have to be filthy rich to spend a lot of money on something you love. I can definitely see why a lot of people would be interested in it. But having said all that about the, the price, I think the value is here. I think the quality is here in both the materials and the workmanship, the little extras, the little expectational things that you are looking for when you're talking about a $4,000 handgun. The quality of the cuts, the quality of the finish, um, the quality of the assembly, you know, the, the fact that these are, these are well-tuned and precisely fitted handguns. All of that is going to demand a certain value. Labor is probably the most expensive thing in any manufacturing process. And when you're talking about so much hand fitting and tuning on a handgun, you're talking about high dollar labor. The gunsmiths that can do this work deserve to make good money. And if they're going to make good money, then we're going to have to pay good money for the guns. That's just the way that works. I tried shooting this gun at 25 yards from a really horrible rest angle. <laughs> and just, it was, you know, I don't even know why I bothered trying to do it when I did. It was the only choice I had at the, at the moment. Um, and I didn't get what I thought was a very good group at all. It was certainly not an unrespectable group, but it was It was easily two or three times as big as it should have been, and probably at least twice as big as I know I can do on a better day. I don't think I have the time to get back out and do that again. Again, this is a loner, so I don't think I really would have the time to get back out and try and do a proper accuracy test. But Wilson Combat guarantees an inch and a half at 25 yards, and I think this gun could probably do better than that. So after admiring it extensively and then shooting it, having great fun with it, I got to tell you that I think that this gun is worth the price. So if you are in the market for an expensive 9mm handgun, especially one that you might want to run in some sporting events with a compensator out front and stuff like that, then I'd say this one is one you need to put on your list. There aren't too many companies out there, I think, that do it better. 